Imagine this, you were a student schooling in school. You were disrespectful and rebellious towards your subject teachers. Consequently, the discipline master and your parents were informed. Then, your parents were so upset at you that they grounded. You at home for a week, you could not leave home. The definition of the word grounded from Oxford is of a pilot or an aircraft unable to fly. The same definition goes for MRT trains. If an MRT train was to be grounded, the train would be unable to be deployed on revenue service. Being inactive, they will usually sit in a train depot indefinitely. The grounding of MRT trains could be due to two reasons. The main reason is likely due to the fact that the train grounded has faced several severe issues that probably take weeks or even months to rectify. Minor issues such as cracks, flat wheels, or suspension issues pop up from time to time. These problems could easily be resolved with adequate maintenance and thorough repairs. If the issue is too severe, reaching out for resources to repair damaged train components could be challenging. It voices down to money whether the company is able to repair the faulty trains. If the faulty trains were not sent for scrap, they would usually sit in the depot in hopes of getting replacement parts. One such example was when a 1987 Kawasaki C-151 train set 065-066 on the 25th of September 2024 while heading back to Ulu Pandan Depot. The train had been identified to have a faulty train axle box. This caused the undercarriage of the train to drop, stop damaging the traction system on the tracks. Along the sector, 46 cracks were identified. This caused a major train disruption between Queenstown and Boon Lay MRT stations on the east-west line for six consecutive days. Several other MRT trains, other than the train involved in the accident, were also grounded. They were due for a thorough inspection before being put back into service. Such incidents are unpredictable, but that is the least SMRT could do to ensure the safety of passengers. Currently, since the C651S and C751BS have retired from revenue service, they are already awaiting scrap. Meanwhile, these trains are currently kept in captivity and are not allowed to run at all, indicating that they're grounded. SMRD does not want to take further risks to deploy these older batches of trains, as they are afraid that it might just cause another disruption. I hope you got some takeaways about train grounding and will understand why our MRT trains have to be retired for good for our Singaporean viewers. Thanks for watching and see you in another video. Smiley face. Don't forget to subscribe.